What's up, guys? Draft is coming up about a month and a half. As we all know, the Steelers have the 25th overall pick in the first round of the NFL Draft. Now, I have made this video before, but I've decided to remake the video. And this time, I'm doing it by position. So, for the next few days or weeks, I'll be making videos about what each position on what players we should pick up from that position. It's not going to be pl by player from the position. It's going to be players b in that position who I think we should pick up. It's going to be by position per video. So I'm going to start with our biggest need, which is definitely secondary. And that is definitely safety and cornerback. Uh, Steelers have 25th overall pick in the NFL draft. Who should the Steelers pick up in the first round? Obviously, I'm making a video about the corners and the uh, safety, so I think they should go defensive back first round. And I piled a list of people from the cornerback position who I think we should pick up. So let's start. There's this first guy. Uh, his name is Mackenzie Alexander. I think he's from Clemson. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he's from Clemson. Mackenzie Alexander. He has said in an uh, interview recently before the combine, that uh, he is indeed the best corner in the draft. But the thing is, he didn't do the combine. So how is he going to say he's the best corner in the draft if he doesn't do the combine? Now, in my personal opinion, I think the reason why he didn't do the combine is because, like myself, he doesn't think that the combine matters. I totally agree with him. The combine doesn't matter. You could have an absolute horrible combine and still be a great player. It doesn't matter what your 40 is, how many times you do the bench press, what your vertical or broad is. As long as you can play, as long as you can make plays, play for the team, you're defined to be a great player. But back to this guy, Mackenzie Alexander. He would be a nice pickup for this team. I have seen his highlights. But I do not see the steel. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't see him being at the 25th overall pick. So, sadly, you know. But that leads me up to my next guy. This one I really like. His name is Eli Apple from Ohio State. Now, if you think about it, over the years, most of the Steelers' draft picks have come from Ohio State. I'm talking about Santonio Holmes, Ryan Sajir. They both have come from Ohio State. Eli Apples from Ohio State. Looks like the Steelers have a thing for Ohio State guys. He would be a nice fit. He was a teammate with Ron Shazier. I think he was. But, uh, yeah, would be a nice pickup. He had a good combine. I'm not, like I said, I don't think the combine matters. But in this position, because he was supposed to be a late first rounder, but because of his combine, he's, he's upgraded to a mid rounder. But he had a good combine. I've seen his highlights. He does seem pretty good. I would really like this guy. Eli Apple. I, I want this guy. I want to pick him up. That leads me to my next guy is Vernon Hargraves. Don't know too much about him, but I know he is pretty quick and he does have good ball skills. But I don't see him being a 25th overall pick. He might get drafted by, I don't know, the Buccaneers, for example. He might get drafted by the Buccaneers. Would be a nice pickup, but I don't see him being picked up. Like I said, Eli Apple is who I think we should pick up. That leads me to my final corner, William Jackson III. This is another guy I like. This is another guy I wouldn't mind picking up. But I, I don't know too much about him. He is pretty quick. Does have good ball skills. Haven't seen much of his highlights. But from watching, one, from watching what he did at the Combine, could be a nice pickup. I'm not sure if we're going to pick him up, but I like Eli Apple out of the four corners I've listed. Now, I didn't list Jalen Ramsey, who is apparently the best corner in the draft, because he's not going to be a 25th. I mean, I, I would like the Steelers to pick him up, but I just don't see it happening. I really don't see the Steelers. Even if we were at the number one overall pick, and we desperately need him, I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't see the Steelers trying to pick him up anyway. So that's why I didn't put him on my list. Would be nice for the Steelers to pick him up. Don't see it happening. Leads me to my safeties. I have four guys listed here. Let's start with the first one. 
Jeremy Cash. Have seen his highlights in his combine. Does seem pretty good. I think he is the second or third best uh, safety in the draft. So, would be a nice pickup. But he ended up might get drafted for 25th overall pick. So, leads me to my next guy, Darian Thompson. Don't know too much about him. His combine was okay. Didn't really see too much of him at the combine. Haven't seen much of his highlights, but I have heard he's a pretty good safety. Could be a nice pickup, but once again, I don't know too much about him. Leads me to my next guy. Now, this is a linebacker slash safety. His name is Suwa Cravens. I think it's Suwa, but the last name is Cravens. I would like to pick this guy up. He, he has the potential to be the next Palomalu. And let's not forget that he was from the same college Palomalu went to. Which is, by the way, the last safety we drafted from that uh, college. We saw how Troy Palomalu turned out. He could be an another Palomalu, so our Ravens would be a nice pickup. But he is considered a linebacker. Now, Steelers usually draft linebackers. But he can also play safety, too. That's the point. So, could pick him up. That leads me to my fourth and final guy. Keanu Neal. I think it's Keanu. Keanu Neal. This is possibly my first. No. It's my second favorite pick who we should, who, who we, on this list who I think we should pick up. Keanu Neal, he has that Ryan Clark hit style. That's what I like. I want hard-hitting safeties who can hit and tackle. And he has good ball skills, too. He has good concentration when it comes to the ball. If you look at his highlights, by the way, I will put a video of his highlights in the in the description below. Make sure you go check it out. It does seem pretty good. His concentration on the ball skills looks pretty good, like amazing. And plus, he is a hard hitter. He's a pretty good blitzing safety, too. Wouldn't be nice to pick him up, but he isn't considered one of the best safeties in the draft. Although, in my opinion, I think he he should be. Keanu Neal, I really like this guy. Now, I don't see the Steelers... Hold on. Come on. The two guys the Steelers might pick up is either Eli Apple or Keanu Neal. Well, those are the two guys I have on my list. But Keanu Neal might last to the second or third round. So we could potentially pick up Eli Apple if he's still available, then possibly him if he's still available. I would be one happy Steelers fan, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I'll put... Also, speaking of Keanu Neal, in the description below, I will put the video to his highlights. And I will, and uh, if you go to, I think it's 347, watch his hit on Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry... That name might sound familiar. The Heisman Trophy winner and potentially the best running back in the draft. He took him down pretty easily. So why don't you go check that video out. Once again, I'll put it in the description below. Go check it out. Keanu Neal. We like to pick these guys up. But my two favorite guys is definitely Eli Apple, Eli Apple I'm sorry, and Keanu Neal. Those are my uh, defensive backs who I think the Steelers uh, look at or pick up possibly. My next position would, should be, I think I'm going to start with tight end next. So stay tuned. I'll probably post it tomorrow or next day after tomorrow. Anyway, that's the video. Hope you liked it. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Go Steelers.